Now, how many of you here have ever been in love? <laughs> be, be honest, be honest. And how many of you here have been dumped? <laughs> These are the honest questions out there. All of you are like, 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 Back in my school days, I was in love. Great feeling. But the girl who, whom I used to love, I never had the courage to go to her and to tell her how much I love her. But still somehow, she got to know about it. How? I went to my best friend Jahangir and I told him, Jahangir, Jahangir, please, I like something, but don't tell it to anyone. At that time, I didn't know actually that the fastest way to spread a rainbow is to tell to someone and tell, tell to them not to tell anyone. <laughs> and that's what Jahangir did. He went to Quran and he said, Quran, Quran, listen, don't tell it to anyone. Aftab likes Amreen. And then Quran went to some other guy and he said, listen, listen, don't tell it to anyone. <laughs> But Aftab likes Shereen. <laughs> the rumor spread like Chinese, like Chinese whispers out in the school. Uh, like, and the, when the rumor came to me, the rumor was something like, Aftab is a gay. But Shereen likes it. <laughs> I still somehow gave courage. I was like, oh, what happened? Like, what should I do? What should I do? And just like every other school, but I started using the same thing. This is what other school guys do. There I was with a pole like that, going around the pole. <laughs> used to give this scale to look, looking at my sweetheart. And often he sometimes jammed me, he used to join me also. <laughs> <laughs> used to give me a look. I didn't want to talk to her, but and after a few years, after one year, I finally decided to go to her and talk to her. But you know what's the problem? Girls in school, you will never find them alone. <laughs> you are never alone. You will always see four girls with a single girl. <laughs> Even if they are going to the washroom, they are up here. <laughs> Still, somehow, I found that girl for alone for a microsecond. And I wanted to know. I'm like, it's me. I love you. <laughs> Yuga, Yuga out of me, and she gave the answer which I will never forget. She said, No. And <laughs> <laughs> I said, Why? Why? Don't you know I love you? Don't you know that? <laughs> She's like, Yeah, I do. I do remember that, but I don't even know who you are. Oh. I was like, No problem. That's a fair point. She was very like that. I will try again next year. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I did. I tried again next year. And you know what? She said yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but then you know what happened? It was going very good. Like four years went very good. And suddenly one day she left me. She oh. left me. Oh. 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 <laughs> 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 Like, I'm not being metaphoric here, like literally the dude walks like this. He throws drunk at me like that. I'm like, what? He left me out, he left me out for a guy who looks like you feel like a chimpanzee. My breakup it was like for nine months. And there was quite like the first three months, I don't know, I, I, I'm going to a breakup. Because <laughs> love now, nah? love is blind. Deep there in my mind, I was like, I used to see introduce my girlfriend like, hi, how are you? Meet my girlfriend, Sameen, and her boyfriend. <laughs> But the worst thing happened again then. You know what? Sabrina left the chimpanzee animal also and started eating some other guy. And I was like, things are not adding up here. Adding up here. There is something wrong with Sabrina. Something wrong. 
And I start doing the all over that. You can tell me hope. I have to tell you hope. And I start calling her the trampers and all. Uh, Sabrina, I like I wrote a poetry for you, I wrote a poetry for you. Will you please listen to it? I said, like, Buzz off. My body is like a little hard now. Sabrina, Sabrina, please, please, please. And in the meantime, the chimpanzee Ahmed used to call her also. <laughs> like, uh, we were very close, we, we got good friends and we used to play to get together. Because we both were the same, in the same world, mostly. So what happened then, one day, finally, I wake up after all that sadness, all that that deep pain in my heart, I never felt it again. You know that feeling when you wake up in the morning, you're all fresh? That feeling when you see your ex getting fat. <laughs> the feeling when you see your ex getting all rashes, disease, cholera, ALS, and this stuff. And you're like, yeah, fine, I'm good, there is more to this life. There is more to explore out there. So I, I did that. There is, now there is more time in my hand. And I did. The same what most Asian men do with more time in their hand. <laughs> Obviously, I completed my studies. <laughs> I went for my degree and I'm still studying. It's okay. It's and I'm still doing that. I'm still very happy now. Ladies and gentlemen, in life you go through breakups, in life you go through ups and downs, people dump you out. But you know what's the best part of life? You pick up yourself again. You join your heart again, just small pieces, and you join them all together with a glue or something like that, and you move on. That's what that is all about. This, awesome.